thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. All right. When you ask a woman who's working, what is the expectation that she has from her employer and from her career, she would probably tell you that she wants to build her career ladder, she wants to make money, she wants to have fun, she wants to enjoy life, and she wants to be a successful woman. But ask that same question to another woman who is working, but who is a single mom. What is her expectation from her employer? The first thing that she would tell you is security for her job is the foremost important thing so that she doesn't have to worry about taking care of her children and herself. We are living in an era today where we are constantly creating new technologies, building new companies, inventing new products that is transforming the way that we live. We are living a comfortable life like never before. But let's not forget, these inventions are made by people, people like you, who are either working for some big company or who are working for some small companies. And these are inventions made by people who create their own startup with the hope to build a bigger company in the future and to employ a lot of people in the future as well. The expectation of these people, that is you and I, on how we work today and how we want to work in the future has been changing tremendously and very tremendously. And today I want to give you a preview on what is the expectation and the wishes of these people on how we are going to work in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Majid Majid Nuhakan, and I am the evangelist at Singh, a leading business networking platform in the German-speaking countries. We are more than 600 people. We are headquartered in Hamburg, Germany. We operate from six different locations, but with one dream, that is, to provide a better working life for our users and to enable the professionals to grow. When I think of modern way of working, the three words that describe the characteristics of modern working is mobility, flexibility, or collaboration. These are the terms people use to describe the modern working life. But the expectation of these people goes far beyond that. If you ask how do employees who are working for different companies see the situation in the company today and what is that situation that they want to change and what is that they want to see in the future in five to ten years from now? And what are the different needs that are being satisfied by their work and what are the different needs that are not being satisfied by their employer? And what are the different categories of people who are open for this modern way of working? The best way to find the answer is to ask the people directly. So we did. We surveyed 4,000 people. That is the largest survey that has ever been made in the context of how we are working today and how we want to work in the future. We targeted different groups of people. People who have excellent academic degree, who has people who have no education at all, and then there are people who have this vocational training that is an in-between education. And we targeted people from different age group, people who are above 50 years old, people who are in, be in between 35 to 50 years old, and people who are under 35 years old. And that is the representation of this room today. The people who are sitting in this room, most of us are really well educated. We are really technically skilled and we are working for creative industries. But that doesn't represent the majority of the workforce today. This represents the majority of the work today. And this represents the majority of the company employees. If you look at the different categories of work, one thing, there are people who prefer to have a part-time employment. The, most of the time, this is women who prefer to work between 30 to 40 hours a week part-time from home because of uh, the children at home. And then there are a group of people like, like you guys who are very well-educated, who are very creative, who demand stuff from the employer. 
And the third one, there are people who are willing to make money. These are most of the time people who are paid on an hourly basis, who works more than 40 hours a week to take care of their family so that they make more money. And then there are people who are doing social work, people like doctors and people who work for NGOs and people who work for companies like who, companies who are transforming the world to make it a better place. And then there comes the industry where people do manual work. People who work so hard to take care of their family. And then there are people who work for factories, people who work for industries. And that is also a representation of the today's workforce. About 40% of these people that they say that the salary that they get today is actually satisfying the need of the people and the family. What about the rest of the 60%? Only one third of the people, they said that collaboration between different departments is actually not a problem, and what about the rest? And to most of these people that we surveyed, they said security for their job is the primary, foremost important thing than actually independence. And that is the world that we are creating today. And the expectation of these people, like I said, goes far beyond mobility, far beyond flexibility, and also far beyond collaboration. First thing, democracy and decision making. We are transforming, we are moving from the structured hierarchies to the flat hierarchies. At least we say that we are moving in that direction. We say that we are a democratic company, but how much of the democracy that we are living, how much of these employees who are working in this company are being really involved in the decision-making process of the company? How much of the product that is actually being developed by these companies are influenced by the majority of the employee force in that company? Not many. But people who are going to start working in five to ten years from now, and the people who are working today, they want to see the change, that they want to be involved far beyond cooperations, far beyond collaborations, and also far beyond on the hierarchical level where they have the chance to influence things in the company, making meaning. One of the best examples was Nike, how they are moving from the t-shirt company to making digital products, making meaning to the products that we actually develop. Every product that we develop should empower people. Every product that we develop should transform the community, should transform the society. And people who are working for this company today, that they believe that the employer, whatever decision that they make, will make in such a way that you empower people. But in the future, we will see more of the people who are working for this company want to be involved in every code that they write and every small features that they develop should contribute to the society. Time and money making. Time and money are directly proportional. And, and you would be surprised if I tell you most of the people that we interviewed that they said they would prefer to work less five hours per week, that is between 30 to 35 hours a week. And also the younger generation that we targeted, for them, money is not the only factor, flexibility is not the only factor. They want to work in an environment that transforms, that gives them the opportunity to work in a fun place. That is why you see nowadays the startups that they create it's not just about the product that they develop, they also transform the workplace by giving benefits to the people, by giving benefits to the employees. And, and the focus is also not just on the product, but also the development of the people. Flexibility and self-improvement. The ability to decide on your own on when you want to start working for the day and when you want to leave for the work is going to be more in the boom in the next coming years. It is not the number of hours that you sit in the office count, but the result at the end, it actually counts. It's going to be how productive you are, but it's not going to be how many hours you spend in the office. Constantly self-improving yourself. It is not that you are good in a technology and you start working for a company, it is not enough, and you will see more of how you perform and how you excel in self-improving yourself. And that is another big change that we are going to see in the next five to 10 years. Security is still going to be one of the most important things in the coming era. 
but that is not the only most important thing because people are willing to sacrifice security for independence. People are willing to sacrifice security to, to trade in such a way that their contribution to the company and their contribution to the employment, which is actually going to be much more important. You often hear about work-life balance. And now it's going to be about work-life blend. The blend that you create for your, yourself, the blend that you create and the job that you do which fits your lifestyle, and it is not going to be the other way around. And in the future, it is going to be find the right mixture that works for you and for your family, and also the right mixture that works for the employer and the productivity. That is how you're going to create these two blends which is going to make you and the company successful. And also, companies are already starting to develop the plan to enable the employees on the, on the side of uh, how they help them to learn throughout their career. It is not just that they start working and then um, f forgetting about not learning in the future, and that is going to be another trend. And if you look at the driving force, there are plenty of uh, things that you could actually count on. But I'm going to talk about just four things that is going to uh, be the catalyst for this movement, for the catalyst for this big change that we are expecting to see the companies to follow in the five to uh, ten years' time. First one is digitalization. You would be surprised if I tell you 20% of the companies are already giving out mobile devices for their employees so that they have the access for the information and they have the ability to work from anywhere and every Everywhere. And that is actually in Germany alone. So imagine a guy who's working for a huge company using desktop computers for the last 25 years, and if you would go and tell him in five years, hey, you are going to use an iPad to work, he would be freaking surprised. And that is what digitalization is about. It is not about the younger generation, not just about the younger generation of the people that we are sitting in this room today. It is going to be even more beyond, than, beyond that. And also, we are going to learn the culture of adaptive working. We are going to work from co-working spaces. We are going to work from home, and we are going to not primarily depend upon the office spaces to work in the future. Different types of work. Part-time work is going to be in, boom, in boom. There are currently 5 million part-time jobs in Germany alone. And that is the number is still increasing. So you could imagine the trend on how actually it is going to affect the way that we work and also the different types of employment. And then there is this temporary work. There is 2.5 million number of jobs, temporary jobs in Germany now, and that is kind of decreasing. And you would see more of contractors and freelancers that the companies would hire to work instead of hiring full-time employees because, like I said, people will choose the job that fits to their lifestyle and not the other way around. New priorities. 88% of the people who have excellent academic skills, who are really great in working with technologies, have said they would demand their employers to meet the needs, meet the individual needs that they have. Which means the companies who are creating startups today, and the big companies who are in the market for a long time, these global players have to transform their industry in such a way that they are offering the people what they actually expect. Because end of the day, you want to keep the talent. Things are going to move in 180 degrees how and what people expect from their employers. And also, this is my favorite part, 48% of the people that they say what they work on should contribute to the society, and they say that is actually more important than the paycheck that they receive from their company. So it is about making more meaning, it is about contributing to the society, transforming the society you know, in such a way that's going to help everybody's life. Let's not forget about the demographic changes. All the kids who have born in the year 2000, they are going to start working in five to ten years of time. Imagine that expectation that they will have. They must have never seen a desktop computer, probably. The expectation that they will have when it comes to work. We have to revise all the strategy that the companies have on how we are going to satisfy the needs of these people. Diversity of work, immigration, 
It is expected to have 200 to 300,000 immigration people moving to Germany from the year 2020. So what does that mean to companies? What does that mean to startups? What does that mean to huge organizations? You are probably used to speak one language at your office. When people move in from different countries, the language of the company changes. You are expected to be more diverse. You are expected to accept and behave with different cultures. You are going to work together with different kinds of people, Indians, Afghanistans, Pakistans, Bulgarians. That's going to be a very big change in terms of demography. The world of work is going to be different, and sometimes it is going to be even more complicated. But if you are running a company or if you are creating a startup, think about what are the strategies that you have to satisfy the needs of the people. How much are you giving to the people in terms of work-life balance? How much of a digitalization that you are taking care of? How much of a development and the learning plan that you are going to give it to your employees? And this is the time that you wanted to think about that. And I want to finish off with this lovely quote that I have read, which is a old quote, but I still like it. Job is something which is more than just a paycheck. A good job fosters independence and discipline, which also contributes to the betterment of the society. A good job is a means for you to provide for the health and the welfare of your family, to have a home, and to save for the retirement. And that is for your better working life. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.